Today we will make some delicious chicken packets and fruit parfaits. Look at all these great vegetables we have to work with. So one of my favorite things about making these uh, chicken packets is that you can put just about any vegetable in it that you like and you can change up the flavors every time you make it by just adding a different set of ingredients. Let's wash our hands and then cut up a red pepper. Now remember, when you're working with knives at home, to always make sure a grown-up is around. There are really three things about this dish. We have the protein, which I'm using fish, and you're gonna use chicken, and then we have the vegetables and the seasonings. Now, would it make a difference if you're using chicken or fish? Well, there are some differences cooking-wise. The fish takes a lot less time in the oven. The fish has important oils in it that are particularly healthy for you. They're both excellent sources of protein. Let's get started on your chicken. One of the things is to try something new if you're feeling adventurous today, or if there's something you haven't tried before, why not try something new? Or if you prefer, pick your favorites today, and the next time you make it at home, you can try something different. These are looking good. If you're making this at home with your family, and everyone wants to make it their own way, you can actually write names on the foil. Then when it comes out of the oven, you'll know exactly which one is yours. The oven is set to 400 and preheated. We'll come back to check on them in 20 minutes and make sure the internal temperature has reached 165 degrees. So after 10 minutes, we'll put the fish in. The fish will cook to 145 degrees internal temperature. While that's cooking, let's get started on the parfaits. Yay, dessert! We have some fruits here that you're familiar with, like strawberries, grapes, blueberries, and bananas. For toppings, we have some low-fat whole grain granola and some pecans. Some examples of whole grain ingredients are oats, brown rice, whole grain barley, and whole wheat. In our bowls here, we have some low-fat yogurt. Yogurt and milk sends calcium to your bones, and so you can grow up to be a strong young man or woman in your case. How you do it is really up to you. Some people like to put the yogurt down first. Some people like to put the granola down first. I usually eat fruit for snacks, but sometimes I also eat them for breakfast. Fruit is a great snack. It can be good for breakfast, lunch, part of a meal, or dessert. Here you go. Thank you. Do you remember what temperature it should be? Um, about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. Yay, it's done. Let's go eat. So here in this meal, we have the protein from the chicken and the fish. And we also have all the vitamins and minerals from the vegetables that we've used. So my favorite part was working with you guys to put our packets together and creating our own unique flavors. And now getting to taste how it comes out. Yeah, it tastes delicious. Stuff is like edible art. It's colorful and creative at the same time. I didn't know cooking healthy foods could be so nutritious and fun. On to the parfaits. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to dig in. Chef, I can easily make this at home for a snack. And I think I will sometime. You can use whatever fruits are in season. Switch it up, just like we did with the chicken packets. We mm -hmm. can try different things, different times. It's actually very easy to make this perfect. Today we made chicken and fish packets and a fruit parfait. It was very fun. And nutritious. And delicious. For more information about nutrition and healthy eating, and to find the recipes you've seen today, visit www.nutrition.gov.